Well, Ukrainians are still fighting like demons against the Russian invasion. Footage online shows not just their military inflicting serious damage, but even civilians armed with nothing more than Molotov cocktails fighting back. On top of this, foreign volunteers have been heading to Ukraine even before hostilities began. But for most of us, heading for a war zone isn't a possibility. So what can we, the people at home watching this war unfold, often with horror, do? There are ways we can help. There are several ways to donate both to the government of Ukraine and to charities supporting the people there. Now before I start, I must add a word of warning. I've done as much research as I can into these outfits and believe that they are legitimate and will make best use of any donations they receive. But I haven't actually visited any offices or seen their work in the field for myself, so I recommend you do your own due diligence on these recommendations. But with that said, you can check the links I will put in the description and check into these organisations for yourself if you want to donate. So here are ways that you can assist. If you want to contribute directly to the government of Ukraine, more specifically to their military, the National Bank of Ukraine has set up a special bank account that accepts donations. This will take Ukrainian UAH, US, Australian and Canadian dollars, British pounds, euros, Chinese yuan, Japanese yen and Swiss francs. So far, this has raised about $15 million for the military of Ukraine. The website is in Ukrainian, so you'll need to use a translation app or browser add-on, but it is fairly straightforward and provides you with the details you need to make a bank transfer. Don't forget to add the credit account number in your transfer description. As for charities supporting the Ukrainian military, Come Back Alive originally provided non-lethal military equipment, such as thermal vision scopes and supplies. Now... Well, I'm not sure what they spend it on. I suspect the non-lethal part has been dropped, but they are a long-established operator in the country. For supporting the civilian victims, Voices for Children are a Ukrainian NGO that provides psychological and social support to children that have suffered as a result of the war. They have been working in Ukraine for several years. Of the big players in the field, the Ukrainian Red Cross has an appeal running, which I will link to. But many national Red Crosses are also running campaigns in their own countries, and some are getting support from the governments there. I believe the Canadians, for example, are matching citizen donations dollar for dollar, so if that is the way you want to contribute, Google the Red Cross in your country. These are just a few of the options, and you should look online for more. Just be careful, because although there are plenty of good options, I'm sure there are plenty of parasites out there looking to exploit people's good intentions, because there always are. And if you don't want to donate money, there are other things that you can do. Contact your elected officials and make plain your support for the Ukrainian people and that you expect them to do everything they can to make sure the government in your country is doing everything it can to assist. Obviously, the majority of the world's governments are standing with Ukraine, as are most politicians. But politicians do need to be reassured on a regular basis that they are on the right track. So keep prodding them because it is a job that tends to encourage a short attention span. There is also something else you can do. Have a look at your representatives and the news sources you listen to and their stance on Ukraine. If they are saying that the fight is pointless and the Ukrainians should surrender, well, maybe ask yourself why they are taking that position. And also ask yourself this. Would you surrender if you were in their position? Now, maybe you agree that such a fight is pointless, in which case fair enough. But if you don't and you think you'd fight for your home and family, well, maybe ask why those others are taking the position they are. Just something to chew on. Thanks for listening, and long live Ukraine. Links are in the description.